We're here at Longwood House on the island of St. Helena. Yes, this is where Napoleon lived while he was in exile until his death in 1821. This is a hot, humid island in the Atlantic over a thousand miles from Africa. At first, Napoleon seemed to enjoy life here. He worked in the garden and went horseback riding. But as time passed, the British allowed him less freedom. He became depressed and spent much of his time indoors. He lapsed into chronic ill health. He suffered from fever, chills, and nausea. He had a difficult time walking and had frequent abdominal pain. He also vomited frequently and suffered from dizziness. Doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. No, and eventually, he was confined to a bed in the living room. Let's go take a look at that. This is the living room where Napoleon died. Napoleon slipped into a coma and died on the 5th of May, 1821. An autopsy was performed the following day. Napoleon's own doctor performed the autopsy. There were 17 witnesses watching while the doctor worked. Even though it only took two hours, the doctor's findings seemed conclusive. Death was caused by stomach cancer. Since that time, however, many people have questioned the cause of death. Let's go see if we can find more information about this. Here is where he was originally buried on the island. Some people claimed he was actually poisoned by the British. Yes, many of his symptoms were the same as the ones caused by arsenic poisoning. When his body was moved from here to Paris in 1840, it was found to be very well preserved. That supported the arsenic theory, since arsenic is a strong preservative. The publication of his personal valet's diary in 1955 also caused suspicion. Descriptions of Napoleon's final months seem to again indicate arsenic poisoning. Let's head over to Paris to see if any of this was true. This is Napoleon's tomb in Paris. In 2001, a French scientist tested locks of Napoleon's hair. He found high levels of arsenic to be present. Yes, but in 2005, Swiss scientists discredited these findings. Why was that? The Swiss realized arsenic was present in Napoleon's hair for years before he died. If that's what killed him, he would have died much earlier. How do they explain the arsenic even being there in the first place? They theorize it could have been an ingredient in the hair tonics he used. Or perhaps he had sightless. Arsenic in small doses was a common treatment for this at the time. So what did the Swiss say killed him? They claim he died of stomach cancer, just like the original autopsy. On top of this, a blind study was done with a group of doctors in 2007. They were given the original autopsy report without being told who it was for, and asked to determine the cause of death. Let me guess. They also said stomach cancer. Tag's right. Now let's go see if we can find the gift shop.